Are you ready for the word? I ask your neighbor for me. Are you ready for the word? I know the weather is cold, but please help me. Please help me to keep the atmosphere warm. Help me that we may not feel cold. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Are you ready for the word? Our word this morning, I've entitled my topic, Help Through the Word. Help through the word. And I'm in Isaiah chapter number 41 and verse number 14 and 15. 14 and 15. Help through the word. Help through the word. Isaiah, this is the word of the year, this year, and we, this is where we're getting the direction, and this is where we're getting our word this morning, help through the word. Isaiah chapter number 41, verse number 15, the Bible says, fear not, thou warm Jacob, fear not, verse number 14, fear not, thou warm Jacob, uh-huh. You men of Israel, I will help thee, says the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make you into a new, sharp, threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh mountains and beat them small. I'm in verse number 15 of the book of Isaiah. And make the, the hill, and make them... And make the hill as chaff. That is the word of the Lord. Father, thank you for the hearing of your word. I pray may your word bring light and understanding even unto the simple. Speak to our hearts. Encourage us. Lift us in the name of Jesus. May your word heal us in the name of Jesus. To the glory and of your name. And may you receive all the praise this morning. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And God's people said amen. And God's people said amen. The last time I was here, by the grace of God, we talked about uh, uh, that God will help us. And we talked about the help of God may not be visible as we may desire. Because the agenda of God is not to transform the outer man. The agenda of God is to make sure that he molds us from the inside so that we can manifest the help that he has provided to us. And we say that God can send help through, number one, help through the name. We remember help through the name. We, we got you. You remember help through the name? And then number two, you say that God can send help through the word. Please put up a smile and smile at me. I know it's cold, but I mean, you don't have to look like the weather. You can just smile at me. Um, I mean, right? So that we can... We said, number one, help through the name. And we said, God can help us either by him becoming his name or him making our name do what? Become. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And we said, number three, that God can send help through. Number three, what? Can, can, we, can we remember? Can we remember through Jesus Christ, the blood and the cross? Those are systems of help. And number four, God can send help to us through the Holy Spirit. Do you remember? Do you remember the word? Do you remember the name? Do you remember? Do you remember number three, Jesus, the blood and the cross? And do you remember the help through the Holy Spirit? And we covered the help through the name. And today I am in help. Through the word. Somebody say amen. Help through the word. And the Bible says that for the word of God is alive. And it is sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to the dividing of the soul and the spirit. The joints and the marrow. The word of God judges the thoughts and the attitude. Blessed be the name of Jesus. The word of God is alive. Look at your neighbor and tell them the word of God is alive. The word of God is not dead. The word of God is alive. Look at another neighbor and tell them the word of God is sharp. Ah, look, look for a believing neighbor and tell them the word of God is alive. And the word of God is sharp. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And therefore the Lord is saying, I will help you. by, But how will I help you? By doing what? By making you into a sharp threshing sledge. And the word of God is sharp. Do, look at your neighbor and tell them, are you getting something? Have you, have you gotten something? In other words, God desires that we will mirror him through his word. I said God desires that for us we will mirror him through his word. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And therefore before we get to, what, uh, to the two thoughts that I want to share, I want us to lay a foundation so that we can understand what are we talking about. When we are talking about the word, the word of God is classified into two. Into two. If you have your notebooks, you can write them. Uh, you can write that down. The word of God is classified into twofold. The word of God is classified into twofold. There is what they call in Greek the logos. There is what they call in Greek the logos or the written word of God. And number two, there is what they call in Greek the rema. 
That is the spoken word of God. Those in SOL, I know we've learned this. Uh-huh. So if you to idea wale ambao hawajafanya SOL. Ulize jirani kama umefanya SOL. Kama hajafanya mwambie I am helping you. I am adding value into your life. Blessed be the name Pastor Stephen. I am adding value into your life. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Look for somebody mulize are you in SOL? If you have not, I am trying to help you. And therefore you have said the word of God is in twofold. Number one there the written word of God. And number two, the what? The spoken word of God. And I want to submit to you this morning that the word of God, the spoken word of God should be consistent with the written word of God. Why am I saying this? We are living at a time that so many people are saying the Lord is saying. Have you met somebody and, and they tell you the Lord is saying? Ay, jameni watu wa mungu. Mekuta na mtu wa kumbia, the Lord is saying. Therefore, that, that could be the Rema word, but you have to check if the Lord is saying, is it consistent with the what? With the written word of God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. This is to help us that we will not be swayed away by every wind of doctrine. And therefore, if I come here as a prophet and I say, the Lord is saying to you, you need to check, is it consistent with the word of God, bwana swe sana. Look at your neighbor and tell them, usidanganyo bwana, usichezwe, usipewe stories za jaba, uambiwe, it is the word of God, and, and it is not consistent, eh-heh, bwana swe sana. If it is not the consistent with the word of God, that eon is story, ya? Ah, tuangeleshane, am I in the youth service? I'm in the youth service, right? Eon is story, za? The jaba, bwana swe sana. Therefore, it's good for us, Pastor Alice, Pastor Joe, you'll help us I explain to our mom, Story, a kaya apa, right? There are some stories. I can't believe stories are jabba. Anyway, we will, we will, we will help you, ma'am. We will help you. Stories are jabba. Those stories, stories are jabba. Anyway, that, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. That the, the, the spoken word of God should be consistent with the written word of God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. You see, in John chapter 1 and verse number 1, the Bible says that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In other words, if we become or if we mirror the word, we mirror God himself. And one of the ways that God will help us this year is not only to shout the, the year of threshing the mountain, but is us aligning ourselves in accordance to his word. In other words, the word of God helps us to align ourselves for help. It helps us to position ourselves to receive the help that we are talking about. And therefore, that is point number one, that the word of God helps us to position ourselves Self for help. Therefore, for you to know or to, to, to know if you are qualified or you are in the God systems of help is to you to look at your life and to look at the word and look, do am I aligned with the word of God? Help me preach your neighbor and ask them, are you aligned with the word of God? Are you aligned? Look for another neighbor and ask them, are you aligned with the word of God? Blessed be the name of Jesus because that is the only way we will receive God's help. Blessed be the name of Jesus. In Genesis chapter number 6 and verse number 9, we see a man who was aligned with the word of God. Genesis chapter number 6 and verse number 9, this is a story of Noah. And the Bible says he was a righteous man. He was blameless. And therefore, despite the fact that he was living at a time where there were evil things going on and evil deeds going on, the Lord saved him because he was aligned with the word of the Lord. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, the word helps us to be positioned for help. Look for another neighbor and help me preach to them and tell them, neighbor, the word of God positions us to do what? To receive help. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And therefore, if you are not positioned with the word of God, I verily, verily say unto you, you may not be a candidate of the divine help that we are talking about. Blessed be the name of Jesus. So, John Bill said, Father, may you help me to be positioned. Help me to align myself with the word of God in the name of Jesus. Help me to align my, my life with the word of God. When it, 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 when it speaks of love, help me to be aligned. When it speaks of forgiveness, help me to, uh, be, to be aligned. When it speaks of giving, help me to be aligned. When it speaks of purity, help me to be aligned. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. And therefore, because we are talking about the ear of Threshing the mountain in regards with the word of God. I've divided it into two. Number one, for us we, uh, to thresh the mountain, the word of this aspect of the word of the Lord speaking to us. And number one, we're talking about the word of the Lord to us and the word of the Lord from us. 
Blessed be the name of Jesus. Are we English students? We are English students. And born as first Anna. I will say, Jirani, will you put any English? Yeah, just ask your neighbor. Ulipata nini? Kama unaona ana kuangalia vibaya, ask the other one. Kwa sababu anaweza kupiga mawe. It is personal. <laughs> it is personal, right? <laughs> Bwana sifa sana. For us to reach the mountain, we need to understand that there is the word, the aspect of the word of the Lord coming to us in regards to the mountain. Uh-huh. And the word of the Lord from us. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And I will start number one. The word of the Lord to us in regards to the mountain. The word of the Lord to us in regards to the mountain. And when we are talking about the word of the Lord to us, the word of the Lord, number one, reveals the heart of God concerning the mountain. The word of the Lord reveals the heart of God in regards to the mountain. In other words, it reveals the will of God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. It reveals what? The will of God. I will say unto you, there are job types of mountain. You remember Job in the Bible? There are Paul types of mountain that he said that I have prayed for this thing. How many times? Three things. But the Lord has chosen not to take it from me. But he has said that my grace will be sufficient. And therefore for us, it is important to know what is the Lord saying in regards to this mountain. What is the will of God? Because it is possible for us to pray out the mountain that the Lord wants it to stay in our lives. Either to make us humble or to the glory of his name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, the word of God reveals the will of God concerning the mountain. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And therefore this year we may face mountain, but the question is, what is the will of God? God. What is the heart of God concerning this mountain? Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Si tuli agree tutasema amen. Tuli agree tutasema amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Number two, the word of God to us concerning the mountain reveals the instruction, the instruction on how to thresh the mountain. I can see our time is far much spent and therefore I'll just go as fast as can as I can. The word of God reveals it reveals the instruction on how to thresh the mountain. The word of God reveals the instruction. Somebody say instruction. Look at your neighbor and tell them instruction. There is nothing as frustrating as dealing with the right mountain the wrong way. I say there is nothing as frustrating as dealing with the right mountain the wrong way. Because you will waste two assets of your life. You will waste your time and you will waste your energy. Ah, Look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, I pray for you. You shall not deal with the right mountain the wrong way. Because you shall waste your what? Your time and your energy. Blessed be the name of Jesus. It is important for us to understand what is the instruction or what um, how am I uh, required to deal with this mountain? Because you realize that in the times of Moses, for example, let me give this biblical example. In the times of Moses, it was a season of deliverance. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And therefore the Lord parted the Red Sea without doing anything, without the children of Israel doing anything. He just parted the Red Sea. But in the season of Joshua, it was a season of conquest. It was a season of war. It was a season of going and conquering. I pray for you. May the Lord reveal to you the instruction on how you should do what? Thresh the mountain. Somebody say amen. Because I'm in in, in the youth service, let me me give this example to show us how we 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 can deal with the right mountain the wrong way. Maybe you're here and you are a brother and you've been seeing that sister. Let me go to the relationship side. And you have been praying, Father, give me this sister. And you've, 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 you, but the will of God is for you. Is, the Lord says, it, it is just for you to see. The Lord wants this to, you to do this. That this is a cold weather. This is a rainy season. And for you, for the Lord to open that door for you of that sister, is for you to see that sister needs an umbrella. Somebody say amen. Do I have sisters in the house? The Lord desires for you to thresh this mountain through a what? An umbrella. Unenda kwa pastor wa idherera unamambia akubrandie umbrella ya threshing the mountain. Blessed be the name of Jesus. But because you have decided that you are spiritual, you will go to heaven's gate prayer mountain. Buona sfe sana. Do I have brothers in the house? And you've seen those videos of give me sister joy or I die. Give me sister joy or I die. With the apostolic voice, blessed be the name of Jesus. And you will spend there 40 days praying and fasting. And you will lose your weight. Ah, blessed be the name of Jesus. 
not because you did not listen to a simple instruction that for me to thresh this mountain of this sister for you, it is a what? An umbrella. Eh, hebu nisaidia kuhubiria jirani, mwambie kama umeshika. You do not. Help, help me preach to your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, I am praying for you. May you, no, may you not thresh the right mountain the wrong way. Somebody say amen. And therefore, you will see that sister Joy getting married to brother Nathaniel and you shall surely die. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Despite the fact that you are spiritual, unanena kwa luga with the apostolic voice, that sister Joy, you shall die because you shall see that. Anyway, what I'm saying is this. May we not thresh the right mountain the wrong way. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uliza jirani kama ameshika hiyo. Let me give this example. There are some of us, we are, we are trusting God for jobs. We have been trusting God for opportunities. And, and, and God's instruction is for you to just mark. These are just, these are just examples. To mark an organization that you desire to work for. And just go there and volunteer for six months. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And they will see you. And they will give you that job. But you see, because you are spiritual or you are logical, you've decided that you'll be sending, you'll be sending CVs. You'll be sending your CV from Monday, sending CVs from Tuesday. And whatever would have taken you six months, it will take you how many years? Ten years or two years or five years. I pray for us in the name of Jesus. May the Lord reveal to us the instruction. How am I required to deal with this mountain so that we will not waste our what? Our time and our what? Our energy. I look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, at times it is not that complicated. At times it is the instruction of God, it is just going around the wall of Jericho seven times. At times it is not facing the, the, the Philistine. At times it is just doing what? Doing the simple things. And the Lord tells Moses, gonga to maji and it will part. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Somebody say amen. Are we together? Number three, the word of God to us changes our perception of the mountain. The word of the Lord alters our perception of the mountain. The word of the Lord alters our perception of the mountain. Our perception of the mountain. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Somebody say amen. We've said number one that the word of the Lord to me reveals number one, the heart of God. It is the word of the Lord to us. This is not the word of the Lord from us. It is the word of the Lord to us. It reveals number one. Are we good students? Number one. Eh, Number one, it reveals. Uh -huh. Number two, it reveals. Hey, please, if your neighbor is not saying anything, Number one, you have said that the word of the Lord too has revealed. Number one, I, I cannot hear you, Shiloh Worship Center. This is the youth service. It reveals the what? The heart. Uh -huh. Number two, it reveals. And number three now, it changes our perception of the mountain. I am in Zechariah chapter number four and verse number six. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Zechariah chapter number four and verse number six. This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. The Bible says that it is not by might, nor by power, but it is my, my spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I don't know whether we could get it. I don't know whether we could get it. Situombe uh, media. We are praying for you. Uh, there is no problem. We are waiting for you. Zechariah chapter number 4, verse number 6. But this is what the Bible says. This is the, the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. That it is not by might, nor by power, but it is by my spirit. And then verse number 7, the Bible says, What are you, O oh you great mountain, before Zerubbabel? What are you, O oh you great mountain, before Zerubbabel? Blessed be the name of Jesus. Number one, scripture does not ignore no, the fact that the mountain is great. Uh, can we talk? Are we together? Scripture does not ignore the fact that your mountain is great. I, the, the Lord is not ignorant. He's, not, uh, he's in touch with our infirmities. That's what the, the writer of Hebrews tells us. We have the high priest who has been tested. It does not ignore the fact that the mountain could be great. And I'm speaking to somebody that you, and you could be having a great mountain. But this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. What are you, oh you great mountain, before Zerubbabel? In the other words, the Bible 
Bible is changing the perception of Zerubbabel towards the mountain. And it is saying, in, in you there is the spirit of God that has the ability to conquer that mountain. Somebody say amen. Therefore the word of the Lord, it changes the, poten the, the perception that we have concerning the mountain. At times the mountain is not the issue. The issue is how we see or view the mountain. Somebody say amen. Gonga jirani mwambia neighbor. At times the mountain is not the problem. At times it is how you see the, the mountain. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And the word of the Lord is saying to Zerubbabel, it is not by might. It is not by power. But it is by my spirit. And this spirit does not live there in the heavens. It lives in me. And scripture reminds me that greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world. Is the mountain in the world? Uh, come on, talk to me. Is the mountain in the world? Is in the world? Mountain see koko in the world, but greater is who is he that is in you than, uh, than, than what? Than he who is in the world. And therefore, when I look at the mountain, I do not see the mountain from my perspective. I see the mountain from God's perspective. Uh, I see the mountain from God's perspective. And that's, so, that's why I look at the mountain and say, what are you, oh, you great mountain before Zerubbabel? What has changed? It is how I see the mountain. Uh, look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, change your perspective on how you look at the mountain. What are you, oh, you great mountain before? Zerubbabel. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Look for another neighbor and tell them, neighbor, this year I am changing what? My perspective. I am not looking at the mountain from my perspective. I am looking at the mountain from God's perspective. Because this is the word of the Lord to me. What are you, oh, you great mountain before? Zerubbabel. Ah, gonga jirani muuliza umeshika hiyo. Stop looking at the mountain from your, your perspective. Look at the mountain from God's perspective. Somebody say amen. In Joshua chapter number 12, uh, 14 and verse number 12. Joshua chapter number 14 and verse number 12. This is a man called, uh, this is a man called Caleb. We remember Caleb, we see him. We see Caleb in the, uh, in the times of Moses. He was sent to spy the land. He was sent to spy the land. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And he has, he's among the few men who survived in the times of Joshua. And now Joshua has come. He has conquered lands. He has conquered. Uh, uh, he, it was a season of conquest. And he was giving inheritance of land to different tribes. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And the tribe that he gave to uh, this man called Caleb, it was a land that was occupied by the people who were called the Anakims. It was the land of Hebron. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It was a land called Hebron. But this was a man who saw that from a different perspective. Can we read it together? Uh -huh. The Bible says, now therefore. Come on, let us read together. One, two. Now therefore. Uh -huh. Give me this mountain uh -huh, of which the Lord has spoke in that day. For you heard in that day how the what? The Anakims were what? Were there. And that the cities were great and Fortified. We have said the word of the Lord does not ignore that the cities were fortified. Uh -huh. But we continue. It may, it, may, it may be that the Lord will be with me. And I shall be able to do what? To drive them out as the Lord says. Verse number 13. This is what the Bible says. Aha, uh -huh. this is what the Bible says. Verse number 13. I don't know whether you can have the verse number 13. Verse number 13. Verse number 13. Uh -huh. Verse number 13. Oh, ni meambiu imeisha. But anyway, watcha tusome indio, indio, tukota. Oh, return, return, return. Give me the verse. Uh -huh. And now Joshua blessed this verse number 13. Now Joshua blessed him and gave unto Caleb the sons of Jephunneh Hebron for an inheritance. Verse number 14. Uh -huh. Let us read together. Now Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh. Uh -huh. The uh -huh. And through this day, because he wholly did what? Followed the Lord God of Israel. There are some of you, 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 the Lord has given you an inheritance. But in your inheritance, there is a mountain. Uh, somebody say amen. There's some of you, the Lord has given you that job. But he knows in that job, there is a boss who is a thorn in the flesh. Can I talk to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Let me talk to the Gideonites. There are some of you, the Lord has given you the mountain of 
high school, but he knew there there is physics, chemistry, and mathematics, moles concept, the, what do we call it? the metal concept. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For those of us in university, the Lord has given you that mountain, but he, he did what? He knows that there are mountains of that unit that you do not understand, but he's not looking at the mountain from your perspective. He's looking at the mountain from his perspective, and therefore for us, it is to be like Caleb and say, now give me this Ah, somebody say amen. Look at your neighbor and tell them from now, my language is changed. I shall say, now give me that mountain. Give me, bring that mountain because I have a revelation. I am not looking at it from my perspective, but I am looking at it from God's perspective. Now give me this. Ah, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I, you know, we're in the youth service, right? And we've heard that marriage is difficult. And it's true, there could be a mountain there. Uh, look at your neighbor and tell them there could be a mountain there. <laughs> there could be a, look for another neighbor and tell them there could be a mountain there. But we are Caleb's. Uh, tell them we are Caleb's. We are saying, now give me this. Uh, Sina watu ambao wanaomba wanataka baba nikumbuke. Ah wako kwa service. Wako kwa service. Wako right? Wako. <laughs> Amen. The word of the Lord to us changes our perception. Look at your neighbor and tell them perception. My language changes and it becomes now give me this mountain. For those of us in businesses, business has challenges here and there, there are mountains. But for us it's not to run away from the mountain. For us it is to embrace this, the, the mountain because it is not by might, it is not by power but it is by my spirit. Ah, uh, what are you, oh you great mountain before Zerubbabel you shall be careful become place we know Sautiako just pray father give me now give me this mountain give me this mountain give me give me this mountain give me this mountain give me this mountain in the name of Jesus Christ father we change our perspective in the name of Jesus we have said the word of the Lord to us reveals the heart of God the word of the Lord to us reveals the instruction the word of the Lord to us changes our perspective At times it could not be the issue of prayer, it could be the issue of perspective. At times it's not the issue of fasting, it is the issue of perspective. How do you see that mountain? How do you view that mountain? How do you view that sickness? Blessed be the name of the Lord. I have nine minutes left. That is the word of the Lord to us. The other fold of the word of the Lord in how we are threshing the mountain, it is the word of the Lord from us. The word of the Lord from us. If the word of the Lord re uh, remains unused, or if the word of the Lord remains to us, then it is unused at, uh, uh, unused missile, it is unused atom, it has no benefit. It does not benefit. The word of the Lord has to come to us, listening clearly, and then it has to come from us to the mountain. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. And number one, the word of the Lord to us uh, the word of the Lord from us has with it, number one, the creative power. The word of the Lord from us has with it, number one, the creative power. The word of the Lord from us has with it the creative power. The Bible says in John chapter number six and verse number 63, this, the words that speak, uh, this is Jesus saying that, that the words I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. The words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. And these are the same words that we are speaking. They are spirit and they are life. They have the creative power. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Number two, then the word of the Lord from us, they have the establishing power. The word of the Lord from us, it has the establishing power. Establishing power. The word of the Lord from us, it has the establishing power power. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And the Bible says that you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. In First Kings chapter number 17 and verse number 1, we meet a man by the name Elijah. And he says to King Hab that it shall not rain unless at my word. Let us read together. One, two, the Elijah and Elijah, the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead. Say, say what, King Ahab? As the Lord of God shall of Israel lives before whom I 
Uh -huh. There shall not be dew nor rain in these years except at my word. The word of the Lord from us, they have, it has with it the establishing power. In other words, you can declare things into being. You can be, declare a state of permanency. You, you can declare. And number three, the word of the Lord from us, it has with it a destructive power. The word of the Lord from us, it has with it a destructive power. I know you're wondering. No, the word of the Lord has a destructive power. In Jeremiah chapter number 23, verse 29, this is what the word of the Lord says. Uh -huh, let us read it together. One, two, three. Is not my word like... Uh, let us read together. One, two, three. Is not my word like... Uh -huh, and says the Lord. And like a what? A hammer. Uh -huh, that breaketh rock in... Pieces. These are not toys. Look at your neighbor and tell them fire and, and hammer. See your toy. <laughs> they are instruments of destruction. And, and we remember in, in Ephesians chapter number 6, the Bible says, Be strong in the Lord and in power of his might. Uh -huh. be, uh, put on the full armor of God that you may be able to do what? To stand in the day of... Uh -huh. And it says, now do what? Put on the... The belt of, I look at you, your Bible study. Put on the belt of truth, uh -huh. the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, salvation uh -huh. the boots of what? To spread what? The gospel of peace and what? The sword of the spirit, which is the word of. Uh, look for another neighbor and tell them, neighbor, that is not a toy. <laughs> I am sure, I may not know so much about toys, but I am sure a sword, a fire, and a hammer. See if it was a kupea mtoto acheze. With it, it has a what? A destructive power, and it destroys the works of the evil. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. In First Samuel chapter number 17, I'll wrap up with this, and then we pray for a few minutes. First Samuel chapter number 17, and verse number 44 to 47. This is an example of the word of the Lord from us to the mountain. This is the story of David. Somebody say David. Let us read it together. He was meeting a man called Philistine, uh, a Philistine called Goliath. He was an uncircumcised Philistine. That was a mountain, but the word of the Lord had to come out from him to the mountain. Buenas Fesana. And this is what the Bible says. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, I will give thy flesh unto the falls of there, uh -huh, and to the what? Beast of the field. Verse number 44, the Bible says, And then say David to who? The Philistine. Uh -huh, thou comest to me with what? A sword. Uh -huh, and with a uh -huh, and with our shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of my uh -huh, of Israel, whom thou hast done what? As defied. By the time David is speaking these words to the mountain, Goliath was already a dead man. What we were waiting for is just the manifestation. Ah, uh, Buona And for you, child of God, you have to speak the word of God from you to the mountain and say that you come to me uh, with spear. You come to me with javelin. You come to me with your finances. You come to me because you are richer than me. But I Come to you with the word of the Lord. Ah, the Lord God of Israel. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord strong in battle. Ah, somebody say amen. You come to me with your logic. You come to me with statistics. But I come to you with the word of the Lord. Ah, somebody say amen. This is the word of the Lord from you to the mountain. Somebody say amen. Gonga jirani mwambia neighbor. A Christian full of the word. He is an atomic Christian. Uh, somebody say amen. An atomic Christian. When, when you come a bomb, when you're full of... The problem is there are some of us Christians. The word quantity that we have, ni kama rungu. The word quantity that we have in us, ni kama rungu. Ask your neighbor, neighbor. When, when you are rungu, ama you are an atomic Christian. But regardless, nevertheless, this year, I pray for you. May you rise in the name of Jesus Christ to be an atomic Christian. That you shall have the word of the Lord. And you shall speak to the mountain and say, What are you, oh you great mountain before Zerubbabel? What are you great mountain before me? It is not by might. It is not by power. It is by my spirit. By the stripes of Jesus, I was healed. Upon the tent of the righteous, there shall be rejoicing. And there shall be salvation. 
Lord. Somebody say amen. You say to that mountain that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Somebody say amen. When you meet sorrow, you remind sorrow that the Bible says rejoice in the Lord. And again I say rejoice. When you are tempted with the things of the world, with money, you say like Paul said that all these things that I counted as gain, I now count them as loss for the sake of Christ. Ah, when you meet death on the way, you say that it is not me who lives. Ah, somebody say amen. It is not me who lives, but it is Christ that lives inside of me. Ah, somebody say amen. When you meet unrighteousness and sin, you declare the word of the Lord that upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, there shall be holiness, and my people shall possess their po ah, mind the house. Somebody this is the word from you to the mountain when you when you feel lonely and you that you have lost your father and you have lost your mother you remind yourself that his name is the lord the father to the fatherless and he is the mother to the orphans and as many as are called by his name they are sons of when you come to, to Shiloh Worship Center, when you come to Shiloh Worship, Worship Center, woy, 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 menda, when you come to Shiloh Worship Center and you feel guilty because of the things that you've been through, you remind yourself uh, that I have not come to Mount Sinai, but I've come to Mount Zion, a uh, city of the living God, uh, the heavenly assembly. Uh, I have come to Jesus, uh, the mediator of the new covenant. Uh, I have come to the sprinkling of uh, of the blood uh, that speaks better things uh, than the blood of Abel. Somebody say amen. When you meet that sickness and it wants to take you, it wants to take you, it wants to, to kill you, it wants to destroy you, you take the word of the Lord uh, and say in fact uh, for me to live uh, is uh, for me to die, sorry, is gain. Buona sana. But I choose to live so that I may be of benefit to you. Somebody say amen. The word. Look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, this year I am making a decision. I shall be an atomic Christian. When you meet me, you are meeting an atomic Christian because I have the word of the Lord. Uh, somebody say amen. Would we stand up on our feet and pray to God, Father, grant me the grace to read your word in the name of Jesus. Speak the word of God to those mountains. Speak the word of God to those mountains. Speak the word of the Lord to those mountains in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak the word of God to those mountains. I speak to the word of the Lord to those mountains in the name of Jesus. What are you, oh, you great mountain before Zerubbabel? You shall be made plainer. Lift up your heads, oh you gates. Be lifted up your everlasting doors that the King of Glory may come in. Who is this King, King of Glory? Is the Lord strong and mighty? Is the Lord mighty in battle? I shall speak to those mountains and say, even though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Come on, Shiloh Worship Center. Lift up your voice and speak the word of the Lord to those mountains. I am the head and not the tail. As for me and my children, we are for a sign and a wonder 
I shall not die, but I shall live uh, to declare the goodness uh, of the Lord in the land of the living. Uh, I speak the word of the Lord to that mountain. Uh, for the spirit of the Lord is upon me, and he has anointed me to speak the good news to the poor, to speak freedom to the captives, uh, to speak deliverance, uh, to speak salvation. Uh, as I stand on this mountain, I speak to that mountain. I speak to that mountain. I speak the word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, be exalted and be glorified because you are good and your mercy is endures forever. We lift your name and glorify you. And it is in Jesus' name we are afraid. And God's people say the amen. God's people say the amen. Would you lift up your hands above your head and celebrate Jesus? And as you do it, will you look for somebody and tell them, neighbor, this year I shall hear what the Lord is saying and what the Lord wants me to do concerning that mountain. Somebody say amen. Look for somebody else and tell them, neighbor, the word of the Lord to you reveals what? Number one, his will. And number two, his instruction. And number three, his... It changes our what? Our perce- Remind them again. It changes, it, number one, it does what reveals his will. It reveals their instruction and changes our perception. Look for another neighbor and tell them, neighbor, the word of the Lord from you has what number one it has the creative power somebody say creative power it has number two the what the establishing and number three it has the what the dis it has the what destructive power and this year i am praying for you look for neighbor and mwombe tell them neighbor this year i pray for you that you shall be an atomic christian you shall speak the word of the lord to that mountain in the name of Jesus. Would you lift up your hands and celebrate Jesus? May the Lord bless you.